What's up guys? Welcome back to another video where we are going to be looking into a celebrity's car collection. Today's person we're going to be talking about needs absolutely no introduction. I'm sure you all know him. Drake, world famous singer, actor, just entrepreneur, one of the hardest people to track down in terms of which cars are actually his. Uh, he travels all over the place, so I imagine there's a lot of cars that have been rented, you know, whenever he arrives in a certain place. He has all sorts of different kinds of cars, which I haven't necessarily put in here, but let's say like Escalades and, and those kinds of things that are for his bodyguards or his entourage around him. Um, yeah, and I'm sure there's loads that we don't know about either, but I've done my best to try and find some photos that seem accurate to actually be Drake's personal cars. So let's get right into it. It all started for Drake with this beast. Look at this. Um, I believe it's a Camry. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the photo supposedly of Drake's first ever car. And you're going to tell that as he accumulated his estimated net worth today to be of $250 million, he didn't hang about when it comes to cars. He, um, he definitely upgraded. Where to start? We can start with Ferraris, I guess. Well, one Ferrari, an F12. This photo from a little while back, I found apparently this was, well, reportedly Drake's personal Ferrari F12. Awesome car, naturally aspirated V12, uh, since been replaced by the 812. It was the, pr the successor to the 599 itself. So yeah, a very, very cool car. Yeah, awesome to see that there are some you know proper supercars drivers cars in this collection you'll see that there seems to be a bit of a theme it's either hardcore drivers car like i'm gonna if i'm gonna drive it myself i want it to be really good fun or i just want to waft about in the back of a luxury car we'll get there in a bit let's stick to the theme of like cool drivers cars mclaren 675 lt this is an awesome car so this brought back the LT name from the F1s and it was just a big name for McLaren who actually only officially became a car maker in 2011 with McLaren Automotive. Prior to that, they made some one-offs like the McLaren F1 or the SLR, which coincidentally is another car which sits in Drake's car collection. He seems to own a, an SLR Roadster silver car with red interior beautiful thing still got the gullwing doors this was part of the trio of hypercars when it came out the enzo the Crow gt and the slr enzos are now three million euros Crow gts are around two million and slrs are still around three hundred fifty thousand. so there are many people that speculate that this car will be flying up in value so if it still sits in drake's collection that would be good news for him wouldn't it not that it's going to make that big of a difference i reckon to him but every little bit helps i guess lamborghini aventador another one this is an awesome looking car first introduced in 2011 still looks like it could have been introduced yesterday it's about to be replaced as well this is actually a car that featured in one of drake's music videos he changed the rims on it it's in a matte paint color it's again a naturally aspirated v12 awesome looking thing especially as a roadster it seems like he used it in his video and then was actually seen driving around in it in his personal time as well which is kind of cool because i guess often they'll um you know for a music video an artist will rent the car of some sort it seems like this time drake actually just used his there's so many to pick from why not quick little change of clothes and change of hairstyle to talk to you about today's sponsor g2a g2a is a global marketplace dedicated to digital products where you can buy and sell things such as game keys programs and even in-game currencies or subscriptions to streaming services and so much more it's a space where sellers can make their business and gamers can pursue their hobby without straining their budget they've actually just launched a special christmas sale page where every day a new special discount will be launched for 24 hours so it could be a really good idea to keep up to date with this page to see if you can find the perfect gift idea for a friend or a family member over the holiday season. So if you know a gamer that would love this or you yourself want to check it out, I've whacked a link in the top line of the description down below. And I also want to thank G2A for supporting my page. I've been going around on the website and there's some really cool deals. And if you're getting into new to gaming like me, it's really interesting to be able to discover easy ways to get even more into it. And if you're more into it, then this will be the perfect support basis for you. So thank you G2A for supporting the channel. Let's get back to today's video. Okay, so this next one I kind of struggled with a little bit because many articles say that this is Drake's car. He's driven around in it a lot. Others say that uh, it was a gift from a producer uh, that he worked with. And some say that it was just he was given like let drive it for a day or two and it was never actually his so i'm not sure which one of those is is entirely true but let's say that it was a gift from his producer which is pretty awesome this is a bugatti veyron 
Saint-Noir. I'm sure most of you know about this car, but you know, around a million dollars. It was the most expensive car when it first came out. It was the fastest car in the world when it first came out, 250 miles an hour, 400 kilometers an hour, 1,001 brake horsepower. This was a W16 quad turbocharged engine, and it is one of the all time greats when it comes to supercars. So I really hope that it's in Drake's car collection. One thing that's sure, apart from the high buying price of a Veyron, which I guess seems like Drake may have gotten past with it being a gift, the Veyron is very well known for its high maintenance costs. 25,000 for an oil change, 40,000 or thereabouts for new tires, and then a full service can be up to $100,000. So yeah, crazy expensive car, but I guess if anyone can do it, Drake can probably do it, right? So I hope this does still sit. And the one he's got, the Sang Noir, really cool. I believe only 15 were ever made of this iteration of the Veyron. So you had the, the standard Veyron, standard Veyron, if there is such a thing, 16.4. And then there were loads of different kind of one-off specials. This being one of them, Sang Noir, Noir meaning black in French, means that the car's got all sorts of black accents around it. It's got this dark chrome finishing, really, really cool looking thing. Dark lights as well awesome car so i really hope this is actually in drake's car collection one which i actually don't believe is is the devil 16 you maybe heard of this there's been a couple of videos of it floating around the internet this was like a crazy supercar with multiple thousands of horsepowers can you say that multiple thousands of horsepowers anyways it works they were kind of like giving off all these figures i'm not even really going to get into it because i don't know how many of them are true the car came out it was very linked to drake like this is drake's new one-off crazy um you know horsepower car but he was never seen with it he was never in any tangible way i guess linked to it at least that i could find maybe i'm wrong but i think the whole car for itself was maybe a bit of a publicity stunt of this is what we could do make the world's most powerful car however it was never actually made past a concept and that concept never actually broke any records and it was never seen with drake so i think it was maybe all a bit of a publicity stunt um, you know, let's link it to Drake. That'll make a lot of noise and give it these crazy horsepower figures. But since then, I don't think any have actually been made or delivered. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But as far as I could find, that, that's the case. We're going to keep one one supercar for the end, um, which is awesome. And the story behind it's epic. And what Drake did with it is seriously cool. So that will come later in the video. Let's get into luxury cars because it seems to be a real thing for, for Drake. As I said, he's either wafting about in the back of a luxury car or enjoying some proper hardcore driver's cars. So let's let's kick things off with this very cool G-Wagon 2020 model G63 MG that Drake posted on Instagram. Awesome color, you know, kind of special. I don't know if it's a one-off, but it's definitely a special order color. Nice blue. I think it looks fantastic. But if you're Drake, you're not only going to have one G-Wagon, are you? You're going to go a little further and get the ultimate G-Wagon the G650 Londolet by Maybach or Maybach I think you have to say it with a German accent Maybach is the luxury branch I think you could call it of uh, Mercedes it was its own standalone brand and somewhat still is but basically they, they only make cars based on existing Mercedes models now and they took the G-Wagon previous model and completely kitted it out so V12 limited to only 99 in the world around a million dollars to buy and because a Maybach is not really the kind of car you're going to drive I guess is their theory anyone that can afford it is probably being driven in it they focus more on the rear passengers so I've actually been lucky enough to get into one of these really really cool car you sit behind and it's like you know like business class you know when you're walking to your seat in the plane and they make you walk past the like first class and business class seats and you can see how they can lie down and have like a really good night's sleep those seats are in this Maybach basically so yeah awesome uh, you've even got this like screen which goes up and down and you can choose if you want it to be see-through or not at the touch of a button there's a fridge there's tables I mean it's epic and it's also a convertible as i'm sure you guys have seen from these photos now the coolest thing is what did drake do with this he took it to his plane so i know what you're thinking no Seb, that is that can't be his plane that's a boeing jet behind him well it is a boeing jet but it is also drake's plane i know we talk about cars here mainly but this is just so outrageous that uh, I, I had to include it in in the video drake has a boeing jet like a commercial jet as his own private plane. Yeah, apparently it can seat 30 people, probably cost around close to 
180 million dollars i mean yeah i think it was some sort of deal he did with a cargo company but anyways nevertheless he flies around in this thing and he took his, his maybach g-wagon on it or to it maybe on it i mean who knows it started off the plane in white with gold but one thing i found which is really cool that i want to share with you guys is he since repainted it and there's on the bottom of it if you're reading this we left i mean once you've reached the level of writing little friendly jokes on the bottom of your Boeing jet, I think you can say you've made it financially, at least. Now let's stick with Maybach for a little bit because this seems to be um this seems to be something that Drake really likes. So not only does he have the G wagon, he actually started out in the Maybach family when Maybach was still its own standalone brand with the 62S. This was when it came out, it was basically Mercedes and that group, the Daimler group, answering to Rolls Royce, who had the Phantom 7, I believe, out at the time. And they were like, we need something that can compete with this. The ultimate successful businessman's luxury car. So they came up with the idea of bringing the Maybach brand back from the dead and launched the 57S and the 62S. And Drake had both, from what I could tell, as you do. These were the epitome of luxury and also had the image of success. Because in every movie, the you know successful businessman was driving this. All the successful actors and singers and everyone seemed to want to have a Maybach. And Drake was no different. So he got himself one. And they're very cool. I actually think they haven't aged as well, I'd say, as the Rolls Royce Phantoms. But there's just something cool about those first-gen... 12-cylinder uh, Maybachs. Since then, Maybach, as I mentioned, are now doing mainly um, kind of ta their take on the existing Mercedes models. So you took like the S-Class, for example, and so Drake had to, had to get himself one of these. Um, but they, yeah, they, they kitted out an S-Class, extended it slightly. And in fact, I read some articles that say that Drake actually has one of the Pullman models. If you guys have any photos or anything like that, I'd be really interested to know. I couldn't find anything apart from this photo of him walking away from an s-class where it kind of looks like it could be a pullman pullman basically means it's maybach taking it to the next level and making a limousine version of the s-class so yeah i mean just outrageous they added two seats it's like a, a full-blown maybach limousine i think there's only around 20 of them anyways there aren't many of them at all and they're like a million another million euros or something like that he also has another Maybach, the kind of latest 4x4 from Maybach, the GLS. So same thing. This is Maybach taking that 4x4 and then saying, let's focus on the rear seats. This person's going to be in the rear seats and making it only two. So it's like a four seat, two rear seats, two in the front. So it's a four seat layout um, with those first class kind of seats and everything. And yeah, just epic. Very limited as well. Around 300 in the world. Yeah, awesome. But as you can probably tell from him having text on the bottom of his plane, Drake likes to do things that no one else can really do. So he loves Maybach, obviously, but wanted a Maybach that no one else had and no one else could use for their own music videos. He wanted one just for his. So he asked Maybach, I don't think this is actually his car. I doubt he bought one. I imagine this is like a loan from Maybach. But anyways, ask them to loan him, or maybe he bought, I don't know, a concept, a Maybach concept. There's not much information about this. Again, if you have any more, please put it in the comments down below. Always trying to make these videos better bit by bit. But yeah, convertible, kind of if we were to make the ultimate grand touring, huge boat-like convertible by Maybach, what would it look like? This is it. And Drake had it in his music video. Pretty damn cool. You're probably thinking, wow, he seems to love uh, Maybach. Why does he not like uh, Rolls Royce? Well, you'd be wrong. He loves Rolls Royce as well because didn't need to make that decision. It's I like one, I like the other. I'll just have both. Thank you very much. First Rolls Royce, as I can tell that Drake added to his collection, was a Mansori Phantom. The Phantom 7 Gen 2. So like the facelifted one. Um, Maybe getting a little, little too technical or geeky. But basically, this has since been replaced with the Phantom 8 today. But prior to that, there was the Phantom 7. And of the Phantom 7s, there was the first gen and then the facelift. This is a facelift. And then it was taken by a company called Mansori. They took it to their factory, you know, did their magic. Divides opinions a lot, Mansori. Some people love it, some people hate it. And they completely modified it. Changed the interior, changed the look of the exterior, added this like beige paint. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is definitely gonna divide in the, in the comments down below. 
But Drake seems to have used this car quite a bit. And when he wasn't using this, you know, presumably in the front and he was being driven in the back yet again, when he wasn't, he maybe sometimes wanted to drive his Rolls Royce, he has himself a Wraith which is a smaller, uh, not based on the same platform. Wraith is actually on the BMW 7 Series platform because BMW own Rolls-Royce, but it is basically the Rolls-Royce for the person who wants a slightly more sporty looking car, slightly smaller, and to drive it themselves. They're still $300,000 and they look awesome, but he's got one. So if ever he wants to go out in a Rolls-Royce, but drive it himself, presumably he'll take the Wraith. Doesn't end there because Rolls-Royce also hopped on the 4x4 SUV trend which is just hugely popular at the moment i think suvs are now the highest selling kind of type of car which is just nuts anyways rolls royce made the cullinan which is a half a million dollar four by four version of the phantom which we were just talking about again not quite enough for drake who decided to have a collab with chrome hearts the fashion company who redid the interior they redid the whole kind of look of the car on the exterior new exhaust new front bumper, new rear bumper, new rims, and it's a complete one-off that Drake actually, there's been videos of him driving around in it, seems to properly use. I mean, again, I think this will divide opinions. The Cullinan as a whole divides opinions, but yeah, this one, all modified, will probably divide opinions as well. Last, but definitely not least, I think this is uh, one, the one that many of you have been waiting for, and definitely I think Drake's most famous car is his Ferrari LaFerrari. One of the big five Ferrari hypercars, you know, the 288 GTO, the F40, the F50, the Enzo, and then the LaFerrari Coupe. You could argue the Aperta could be the six that slides in there. This is an awesome car. 499 were produced worldwide. You have to be invited by Ferrari to buy one, but I imagine when you're Drake, that's not too much of a challenge. They've doubled in price. So if you had bought one for the $1.8 million asking price when they came out, they're now probably around $3 million. So yeah. Good investment as well decided to get his in yellow awesome looking thing and yeah he actually drove it around quite a bit it's also got the yellow on the interior which is which is really cool it's a naturally aspirated v12 with just under a thousand horsepower around 900 uh, just over 900 horsepower yeah awesome awesome car naturally aspirated v12 with hybrid technology so a little electric engine helping as well rear wheel drive and just a real driver's car so uh yeah awesome that he's got that sat in the collection I think he loved it particularly much because for some of his shows, he actually had a kind of reproduction made of his laugh and had that float in above the crowd during some of his performances, which is just next level. So imagine showing up to your concert in your LaFerrari to then do a show with your LaFerrari reproduction made like, anyways, next level stuff. But yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers most of them. I I was looking through this, as I say, loads of cars that I'm sure he's, he's maybe got that we didn't include in this, but it's so hard to know which are actually his, which are, you know, rentals when he's traveling, which are cars that were just used for the music video, etc. Could probably make a second video with some of those. If ever one day you want to see more of drake's car collection let me know and i'll try and fish out some more to make a second video of this type if you did enjoy this video there are going to be links somewhere above where you can find a whole list of other kind of celebrities or people you may know we dived into their private car collections um, i just find it really fun to see what some of these people like to drive you know as a petrol head you kind of know these people you look up to them and i always find it intriguing to see what they uh, what they go about in and you know i always think you can tell quite a bit on someone's tastes by what they're driving or what they've chosen to drive so i always find it quite fascinating and i hope you do too so uh yeah anyways if you did enjoy this please subscribe to the channel yeah helps the channel quite a bit to grow and i'd really appreciate it so take care guys i'll see you very soon Bye bye